Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield has a double pack that has an exclusive steel book. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. I have a guest with me for this video, Jordan. Hi! <laughs> and he likes Pokemon more than me, probably, and he likes it probably as much as my wife, Ivory, does. So he was able to get his hands on this. Where did you get this from? I got this from EB Games on pre-order. So EB Games is GameStop, but in Canada. This usually sells for the exact same price as the game if you bought it twice. So the Steelbook was kind of for free. In stores at the same time right now is the double pack, except it doesn't come with the Steelbook. Um, I think from our understanding, there's other Steelbooks too, right Jordan? Yes, so I believe it's in the UK. They have Steelbooks for Just Sword and Just Shield, uh, whereas this is the actual dual pack. Yeah, so the, otherwise these are the exact same thing. I think you were saying that this is just a little bit wider because it includes the Steelbook, but otherwise these look identical. The only way I think you were able to get your hands on the Steelbook version is if you pre-ordered the game. So I wasn't able to do that, but Jordan was, and I know we're a few weeks late, but it's really good to unbox this. So on this, you just have a really good picture of, what are these Pokemon names? You can probably pronounce them better than I can. Uh, Zacian and Zazamenta. Man, I would not have got his pronunciation correct, especially when the Pokemon, do they say their names? Only certain ones do. Only Pikachu and Eevee do, and I yeah. think it's because they're the same in all the languages. Nice. Whereas the other Pokemon have different names, so it'd be much easier to do the audio part of the game if you had to recode each language with different audio. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So in here it says it includes each game, Sword and Shield, the Steelbook, and then download codes for two particular Pokemon which are called... Jangmo-O and Larvitar. Nice. La Larvit Larvitar is on the one on the left. Correct. correct. And Jangmo, the one on the right. Yes. Okay. I don't know all the new Pokemon names. Are they from this generation or the older generation? They're both from older generations. That's kind of cool, actually. So I like the design of this. We have some different colors going on here theme-wise, but let's open this up. I'm going to try and open this on the bottom. This particular copy is Jordan's copy. My particular copy is the original normal double pack. So it's really nice to do this unboxing with him here today so that we actually get this on film. I really don't want to mess up this. It's really hard to open up these double packs usually. Any sort of box from Nintendo. Oh, that's adorable. They have the starters here on the bottom, which you would not have seen. I'm messing this up a little bit. Come on. I damaged that a little bit. I'm sorry. So just want to name the three starters that are adorable here on the bottom. You got, name them off, Grokey? Yeah. Score Bunny? Yeah. And Sobble? Yeah. Yep. And they each kind of have more personalities in this game. You can comment below which one your starter is going to be in the game or which one you already picked as a starter. Jordan, who did you pick from these three? I went with Score Bunny. I had a great time with them. Yeah. Did you see the final evolutions before you made that choice? Uh, yeah, I did. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> like, I, a lot of people, I think, do the same thing. You can also let us know below if you make that same decision yourself. If you want to see the final evolutions before you make any sort of decision, I usually do the same kind of thing as well. We're just going to leave that on the side. I think let's take a look at the Steelbook first. I'm just going to make sure this download code is not visible. So this does come with a sheet with download code, which is on the back of this, which I don't want to show you, obviously. What's the download code for? So if you go to a special area in the game, I don't want to give spoilers, you can put in an item you get from this download code, and it'll give you a raid for one of those two Pokemon. You can do both, um, Larvitar and Jangmo. So it's really good for exclusivity, because I believe Larvitar is exclusive to Shield, and Jangmo -O is exclusive to Sword. So this, if you're sharing with a friend, this dual pack at least lets you switch those codes and, and get one exclusive from each game. That's really neat. That's actually making a lot of sense to me too. Let's take a look at the Steelbook first. So this is Zamazenta, but I'm pronouncing that wrong. How do you pronounce his name? No, that's right. Nice. So this is Zamazenta. On the other side we have Zacian. And I like the designs of these Pokemon, but tell me the types. What's the type of this one? So it is a fighting type. Yeah, so Shield is a fighting type, but Zacian is a fairy type. And that's kind of funny how they made them different types. Inside here, this is nice. I like this. So you have, this is the world, obviously, Galar is it pronounced? Ga Galar? Galar. Galar, the Galar region, with two pla like, places to put your game. So that's a lot more smart of a decision, I think. Also etched into these, I think it's because they're etched on the front here, they are. So you can kind of see that the Pokemon are etched into the design of this as well. It's kind of hard to see maybe in the video, but I think this is kind of embossed or etched, and you can kind of see that on the inside as well. Is this the right orientation for the map? 
Yep. Yeah, it's up like this. Yep. So that's pretty neat. This is the main appeal, obviously, of getting these special editions with the Steelbook. Let me know if you really like Steelbooks or not. I have a few in my collection. This one's going to stay with Jordan. So we're just going to try and display this over here. Maybe you can get a bit of a shot of that. And then we have the two games. Which one's yours? I went with Sword. Nice. And I'm not sure... Um, I'm secretly buying these for my wife and I for Christmas. That's why we haven't played these yet. We don't have a lot of time on our hands either. So I'm not sure which one each of us will play, but we're going to share them. So let's open up uh, Shield first. On the back, just to give you an idea, they're almost the exact same back. They're just pictures are a little bit different in each region. A wild new adventure with Pokemon. You can battle to be the best. And it talks protect the world from disaster, band together in new co-op battles. But each game is only one player, so you do need your own copy of the game to play this. And they have the starters on it. Just to compare the backs of these really briefly, I think I remember seeing that these are different. Yeah. I'm not sure what the regions or areas are. Are the regions the same in both games? Yep. Like, I assume the areas are all the same, just the Pokemon yep. are different. Correct. This one says protect the world. This one says carve a path to the future, band together in new co-op battles. So this one's kind of specific to the sword version. This one's to the shield version. Yeah, for example, here on shield, you can see there's Tyranitar, which is exclusive to the shield game. So they didn't put that picture on the back of the sword cartridge. And do you know who this one is here? I Hard can't really see. see. That is Hydreigon. Nice. Who is exclusive to Sword. So that makes sense. Yeah, so they put some different scenarios and Pokemon on the back, and you can see the legendaries there detailed as well. Clearly we have one in red and one in blue, even though they are not that. So, Shield first, I think I said. Let's open that one up, just because alphabetically I guess it's first. These should be really similar on the inside. I, I really hate how these have no instruction manual. Boom. Alright, so in this one, yeah, you just have the region, which I think... Does it go this way? Is that upside down? That's upside down, yeah. Yeah, so it goes this way. The north is colder, obviously, and then you have the game itself with the red detail, and I'm sure it tastes terrible, as all of these games <laughs> do. And then let's open up the other one just to get a good idea of that as well. So sword, or the blue one. What are your thoughts on actually them just changing the naming convention entirely from, like, different colors or gems, and then they eventually just did, what, X and Y, and then Sun and Moon, and now they're on Sword and Shield. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter to me as long as they're two relative opposites. Um, that works out for me. I, I mean, the colors were sweet, but they kind of ran out of them. Yeah, I mean, the color was a really good naming convention. I really wish they did some really cool idea with Sun and Moon and maybe had, like, an Eclipse game for, like, a third game. And um, Black and White, they could have had Gray. So I wonder if they'll do that with Sword and Shield. I don't think they'll come up with the third version. Spear? Spear would actually be a pretty good idea. Something, like, different like that. So this one, exact same thing, we just have this one being blue detailed, rather than red. So Sword is more blue game. Now, I should also mention that there are other really nice items for Pokemon Sword and Shield. One of the things that Jordan was able to pick up um, is this, what would you call this? Uh, it's kind of like a picture, but it is made out of a non-woven uh, polyester, it looks like. So this is like fabric material that you hang up, like a uh, shield, almost. And on the back you have the region, the Galar region, or pronounce it again for me. Galar? Galar region. So, like, I don't want to do any spoilers of what these all are and what the areas are. Clearly this is in the package still. But you can hang this up, there's two little spots to hang this up. And we have the picture of the game on the front. Where did you get this? This came with the pre-order from EB Games. So not only did it come with the dual pack with the Steelbook, but it also came with this. That's fan like that's really cool. And it also has like a little card here, almost like a business card of the two games. So I'm not sure if we'll keep this sealed or where Jordan will use this or if this will go up in my Nintendo room. Might stay with Jordan, I don't really know, but this is a really cool item to get for free. I love when they give away posters and stuff like that. And the last item I should mention is the special edition of the Nintendo Switch Lite. This is the Zacian and Zemazenta edition. This one, I can, I think you can still find this in stores. I'm not sure if they're going to keep producing this and keep it in stores throughout this Christmas holiday, and then it might be discontinued. That's usually what Nintendo does. So I do have an unboxing video of this up in, on my channel if you want to check it out. The system looks gorgeous, but I'll leave it to you to look at that video for this one. Now, in the Pokemon games, there are a lot of Pokemon. We don't want to do spoilers of exactly how many there are. But how many, like, percentage-wise, how many do you think you have so far? I'm at around 80%. 
So like 80% of the Pokemon, how many hours do you think you've played? Uh, 63, according to the Switch. <laughs> That's awesome, though, that you get that much content out of the game. And there's still some Pokemon to catch, and then I think you're going to go on a quest to try and catch a lot of um, the shiny Pokemon, too. Yeah, one of my favorite things about this game is actually the, the online battling right on the cartridge. Uh, so for people who want to get into it but aren't really sure, they have came out with this new feature, uh, Rental Teams. And so someone online who has a fully built team can post their, their team code and you can borrow that team and use it in online battles to see if you like it. And so you can do that to try it out before you have to spend 10, 15 hours building a max EV IV team. That's awesome. I think what I usually have the most fun with just seeing all the different variations of Pokemon and who they designed this time around in the games. Is there any Pokemon in particular, without spoiling too much, that like you love the design of them? Uh, there's actually quite a few. I like a lot of the new Galar Pokemon. Uh, Dragapult is a huge favorite. It's a ghost dragon. It looks amazing. Yeah. Love it. Is What's the flying all black Pokemon? That is the third evolution, that I think. That is Corviknight. Okay, that one looks yeah. really unique too. That's great, and it has a, a Gigantamax version, which also looks even better. Oh yeah, Gigantamaxing. What's your thoughts on Gigantamaxing in uh, these games? I enjoy it. So... I believe for competitive ranked battles, you can't use Gigantamax Pokemon. It's just for in the game itself, which is neat because they are quite overpowered. Uh, pretty much every Pokemon in the game can Dynamax, nice. but then only certain ones, which are kind of rare to find, you only get them through raids or through a special event type of thing, um, they would have Gigantamax. And that's where it turns into a different form and gains G-Max moves, uh, which have extra effects and nice. more damage. I and a lot of that... Some of that is unique to this game only. Yes. Because in the previous one, there was like mega evolutions, I think, which are not a thing anymore. Correct. In this one. Yeah. So there's so many different versions of Pokemon, but it's really nice to see these come out on the Nintendo Switch. I think the graphics are great for what the Pokemon style is and what the Pokemon has been in the past. It's not really like next gen, ridiculously high level graphics, but it's cool that the game does like it took that next step and everyone can play it on home console and handheld. Um, you were mentioning today, December 1st, when we're filming the video, there's special unique weather in the game. Yes. So there's a few dates. Uh, normally it's on the first of a bunch of different months where the weather in the entire game goes to a specific thing and December 1st is snow. So if you're in the wild and you've been playing this game and you're looking for Pokemon that come out only when it's snowing out in the game, today's your day. Pretty much anywhere you go it's snowing. And that's like worldwide though. Yep. That's not exclusive to North America because it is snowing right now where we are. Um, but everywhere in the world it would be snowing inside the games. Yep. That's pretty cool. I think these games are doing really well. They're obviously selling pretty well. What are your thoughts as a comment below, especially who did you choose as a starter and which version of the game will you be getting if you don't have one yet? I'm going to hold off on playing these until it's Christmas. I think that's a really cool thing to share with my wife on Christmas Day, especially considering there's the double pack. You can also let me know, were you able to find one with the Steelbook version? If you can't find it with the Steelbook version, like I said previously, you can find the original double pack in the store. It's probably the same price, but you don't get any of those perks. Thanks so, thanks so much for watching. I want to thank Jordan for being here for this special video. Um, check out my unboxing video, as I said, of the special edition Nintendo Switch Lite. And there's another Pokemon video coming for the Pokemon Trading Company International. I got a cool Christmas holiday package. That Stay tuned for that one as well, unless that's posted already. I'll link it in the description below the video. Keep smiling while gaming. Go collect them all, especially in the Pokemon games. And thanks again to Jordan for helping with this video. Anytime. Have a good day, everyone.